Hi, we're Pastor Jerry and Julie Jenkins. Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles. A ministry without walls and boundaries. In fact, it's a threefold ministry. First of all, helping people receive salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Secondly, helping people receive deliverance from the slavery of addiction. And thirdly, helping people receive healing in their spirit, mind, soul, and body. And this is the word for the week. The word for this week is, what are you thinking about? Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a look at that. What are you thinking about? So let's take a look at what you might be thinking about. What does the Bible say about what we should be thinking about, Julie? Well, it says in Colossians 3, 1 through 4, if then you are raised with Christ, seek yeah. those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right yes. hand of God. Yes. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Amen. You died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Okay, this is awesome. I want to stop and think about this for a minute. If you were raised with Christ, that's someone who's surrendered their life to Jesus Christ. Set your mind on things above, not on things of this earth. Isn't that what it says? Yes. So what do we think about all day? Are we thinking about our heavenly home? Are we thinking about, uh, well, what does four, verse 14 say in John, John 14, 1 through 4? Okay, well, Jesus told us to... In John 14, 1 through 4, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's yes. house are many mansions. Mm -hmm. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. And then Thomas said, Lord, how, where are you going? Um, yeah. And he had questions. And then Jesus said the most powerful statement in verse 6. Yes, yes. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay. So here, let's stop again a minute and think about this. What are we thinking about? What does the average person, Christian, think about all day long? You know, are we thinking about our heavenly home? You know, didn't Jesus say, let not your hearts be troubled? Yeah. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. So we think on the mansions, above, think on those things above that Jesus has a mansion for us when, and has a home for us. And so we should be good ambassadors of Christ, sharing his love with a hurting world. Yeah, and I've got a suggestion to help you with that. Just turn off the news. Because if you listen to the news every day, your mind's going to be on so much what's going wrong in this world, what's going wrong in this country, what that your mind gets so focused on the negative that you can't think about the positive. That's right. Now, what does Jesus also say in John 14, 12 through 18? Well, he promised us in John 14, 12 through 18, most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray to the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him or knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. This is awesome. Where Jesus is telling us what to think on. He's telling us that, that let not our hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. You know, all these positive things. What do we think about all day long? And I want to tell you what. If you're listening to the news all day long, you're going to be so heartbroken and confused and disgusted, you're not going to know what to do. If we're thinking about the things around us right now in the world we're living in, huh, you're definitely going to be disappointed. You're going to be down, struggling with anxiety, worry, fear, depression, and everything else. we got to get back 
to what does the Bible say? We got to get our mind off of where we are and where we're going. So got to get our mind off of our home here and our home up there. Right, Julie? Right. What else does it say? And then it tells us what we should also in Colossians 3, 9 through 10. It says, do not lie to one another since yes. you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Yes. Then it goes on to say in 12 through 17, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you all also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your yes. hearts, to which you were called in one body and yes. be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom and teaching, admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. All right, in today's society, uh, let me share this with you. In today's society, people will turn against you like you've never seen. Mm. Uh, people sometimes who you think one of your great friends, you know, all of a sudden, if you don't do everything the way they want you to do it, they will, they will turn against you. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do is not get mad at them. What you need to do is pray for them. We're in a society today that everything is so negative about. We got to get back to thinking like Jesus said, if if we were raised with Christ, we got to start thinking about things above. We got to start thinking about our heavenly home. We got to think about where we're going, not where we are all the time. Mm -hmm. And if we're listening to the news all the time in the United States of America today, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to have anxiety, worry, fear, depression. Get your mind on what's going on around us and what our promises are in Christ. What else does it say? Well, um, the scripture tells us in Philippians three thirteen through 14, Brethren, I do not count myself to apprehended. That means to have made it. But yes. one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to the things that are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And I like where he says, get your mind on things, of, get your mind off on things above, not on things in the past. Right. We can't change anything that happened five years ago, 10 years ago, 50 years ago, whatever the case may be. We can't change the past, but we can change what we're going to be in the future. And we can't change what somebody said to us or did to us or what happened in the past. Jesus said, you have to forgive to be forgiven. If you can't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven. we got to get over holding on to a grudge of something in the past. Amen? Amen. That's a good word. we, we got to get our positive thinking out. That's we got to right. be thanking God for where we are today and thanking God that he still loves us died for us, paid for us, Jesus did, our sins are paid for, and we got to start thinking on the positive, not the negative. Right. He Amen. Because as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. What else does it say? Philippians 4, 4 through 8, shares with us this amazing scripture. Rejoice in the yes. Lord always. Again, Amen. I will say rejoice. Yes. Let your gentleness be made known to yes. all men. The Lord is at hand. Yes, he is. And closer today now, isn't he? Yes, closer than he's ever been. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer, with supplication, with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, right yes. Request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, Whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Okay, let's stop there for a minute. Yeah. We got to get rid of the stinking thinking. Right. Let's go back to what does he tell? What does he tell us here to 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 think about 
What are we supposed to be focusing on every day? Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Mm-hmm. Then what does verse 5 say? Um, let let your, your gentleness be made known to yeah. all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing but by everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And okay. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Let's stop for a minute. We could do a whole sermon on verse 6. Yeah. Be anxious for nothing, yes. but in everything through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving jesus uh, said over and over again do not be afraid do not worry yes yes let not your heart be troubled in john 14. instead of complaining we got to be thankful for what we have every day right that first of all we're saved delivered and healed you know and and jesus is the right hand of god praying for us right what else does it say julie Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever yes. things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good reported, there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Okay, let's stop and think about that again. And we got to start thinking about the positive. This is exactly what it's saying. We got to start thinking about the positive instead of the negative. Uh, our world today is full of negative. Yeah. Uh, the news is full of negative. Yes. Get our minds off the world. Get our minds off of the everything negative and do exactly what this says. Meditate on these things. Right. right? And what else did Paul say? He said in verse 11 through 13, not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever yes. state I am to be, to content. be content. I know how to be a base and how to abound everywhere in all things. I have learned both to be full and to hungry both to abound and to suffer need, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, now wait a minute. What does verse 13 say? I can do all things through Christ We can do all me. things through Christ which strengthens No That's matter what's amazing. going on in your world today, if you're listening to this, no matter what bad news you've heard, no matter what it, uh, you've heard on the news uh, or on the radio or on the TV, we got to think about this. We have accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior. We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. No matter what's going on around us, we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Right? Right. And what else does he say? And then he gives us a promise to sum it yes. all up. Yes. In verse 19, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory, by Christ Jesus. So God wants us to know he's going to handle everything and supply for our needs. And he's going to take care of us and carry us all the days of our life and be our good shepherd. Who's going to do that? God. Yes, our God. Our God. Yes, our God. He's going to meet. Our God's going to supply all of our needs. Yep. No our matter. God shall supply all your need. Yes. So praise God. I want to encourage you with this today. <clears throat> We got to get our thinking right. If we're listening to everything going on around us, we're going to have anxiety, worry, fear, depression. We're going to think that there's no hope. Everything in God's Word says here that He's going to meet our, He's going to meet all of our needs through Christ Jesus. And so we need to get our mind off the negative, get our mind on the positive, which is Jesus Christ and the Word of God. You need to sit down every morning and just pick up that Bible and read some of the Word of God. It'll take all the negative away. Jesus is right here with us every day. Jesus said He'd never leave us or forsake us. Wherever you are right now watching this, Jesus is right there with you. He said that. I'll never leave you or forsake you. No matter what's going on in your life, that's bringing anxiety, worry, fear, or depression. Remember this. My God. My God. And your God will supply all of our needs according to your riches, his riches and glory. Yeah. Not our riches, but his riches. Yes. But Julie, as usual, you know what? What? We've run out of time. Mm-hmm. We got some people we need to thank. Yes, we would like to thank Nick Examus of Bob Ridings, Westtown Ford Lincoln of Jacksonville, Illinois. And Mark Yale of Ormond yes. Beach, Florida, 
also our Faith Foundation yes. Yes. partners and viewers like you for making these programs possible. And please call us for prayer or for uh, help at 217-617-5577. That's 217-617-5577. And if you've got thinking that's not positive, if you've got anxiety, worry, fear, depression, whatever going on in your mind, just something you have a question about, pick up the phone and call us. That's what we're here for. we got to get our thinking positive. You know, Jesus Christ is coming soon to get us. The rapture of the church is about to happen. we got to be ready to go. And we can't be worrying about what's going on around us because we're going to be out of here soon and very soon. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you, if you're struggling with anything today, pick up that phone and call us. We're here for you. Yes. And Amen. Visit our website at addictionfreeinchrist.com also. And we're just so thankful for you. And let's close in prayer, Pastor. Yes, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this opportunity to share your word with our brothers and sisters yes. in Christ, Lord. And help us to meditate on things above, not I don't things think on the earth. Let yes. us forsake our own thoughts yes. and have your thoughts. And yes. think on those things that are about you, Lord, so that we can shine the light of Jesus Christ to those who are hurting around us. And we give you all the glory and honor and praise. We pray for healing right now in Jesus' yes. name for every soul that's watching this video. And we thank you for that healing. Amen. Amen. Well, we again have run out of time, so Julie, we got to go. Okay? okay? Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.